guys, welcome to Rasmus Damgard TV. Another episode of the Cocktail Kitchen. Today we're making another classic. It's a gin fizz. It's a great cocktail if you like sour cocktails and if you like gin. So to substitute gin and tonic, then I recommend a gin fizz. It's a bit complicated to make, but I'll guide you through it. Tonight we're making a twist with some fine. So we need some fine to give it a lot of flavor. What's also in a gin fizz is of course gin. Then we have our special syrup. We collaborate with the brand Herbert. The guys from Herbert make a lot of natural syrups. Awesome guys, awesome brand. But if you don't have a special syrup, then I recommend that you buy it. <laughs> no, I recommend that you make this yourself. One part sugar, one part boiling water, add some fine into it if you want to. If you don't, make the base a sugar syrup. Then we need some soda water. Yeah, just plain soda water. Nothing fancy about that. Then we have some Angostura bitter. Yeah, get your bitter on. Angostura bitter, a bitter from Trinidad Tobacco from the 1824 old bastard, uh, which we use in many classic cocktails. We add Angostura bitter because we want to spice up our cocktail. It's the same when you are making food at your kitchen. You're using all kinds of spices. That's why we use Angostura bitter as well, to add some spices to our cocktail. Yeah, not to forget, we have some egg white. Woohoo! Egg white, that means foam because the egg white when we shake it, it creates a lot of foam. And in this cocktail, we need some foam. And then we have some lemon. Then we of course also need some bar tools to make this cocktail. A cocktail shaker. Some strainers. A jigger. A measuring tool. It's very important to measure our cocktails, that way we get the right balance. And balance is the key. Woo! Then we also need a Mexican elbow, a bar knife. We need, we don't need the bottle. Oh, of course, we need some ice. Ice is really important, really important. And we need lots of it, like always. Then we also need a glass to serve it in. We use this fancy, awesome coupe glass. First, we're gonna start off by chilling our glass down. So are you ready? Are you ready? I'm so super fast. There are other videos you've seen a slow Rasmus. Today, I'm super fast. One, two, three, let's go. Boom, huh? Super fast. Yeah, great. Next up, and we need this one. Woo, yeah, 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 yeah. Woo, we fill this one with lots of ice. This one inside here, ready for magic. Woo, we start off with our egg white. We wanna make sure we don't get all the egg yolk and all the eggshells inside the cocktail. That's why we start with the egg white. Boom. Next up is our gin. And we need four centiliters of bulldog gin. Then we need three centiliters of lemon. We squeeze that with help from the Mexican elbow. Mexican elbow, come on. Yeah. Then we take our special syrup and we use two and a half centiliters of special syrup. So we also shake the cocktail with some fine. So we clap it, we spank it. You ready for spanking? Yeah! And we put it down in the cocktail because we want to shake it with the fine. And that's because we want to add a lot of flavor to the cocktail. Then we shake the cocktail. Afterwards, we're gonna dry shake it, so we're doing a reverse dry shake. Sexy. Woo! You ready? Let's go! Woo! Yeah! Then we open the cocktail shaker and look at this foam. Nice. Then we just strain the cocktail. And then we dry shake. Dry shaking means shaking without ice and that's because we want even more foam. The foam is really important in this cocktail because that's the whole experience. One, two, three, dry shake. At last, we throw away the ice. We double strain the cocktail. That's because we don't want all the, all the fine inside the cocktail. we just top up 
with some soda water. We garnish with some fun. We spank it a bit to make sure it. Oh, yeah, it smells amazing. We put it on the side. One dash of Angostura on the top. And done. That's a gin fizz twisted with some fun. I think I did a good job here. Yeah, okay, maybe not. Alright, uh, let's let's taste and see if it is as good as it looks. Cheers! <sighs> Yummy. I don't have much more to say today. I just wanna say I hope you like the content. I hope you like my vibe. I'm trying to experiment and make it as interesting as possible. My goal is to make you become a better bartender in your kitchen so you can serve your date, your friends, your family. Great. <laughs> Guys, one last thing, if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, then Smack the subscribe button. I can tell you that there's a lot more awesome stuff coming for you. I'll make a lot more great cocktail videos. I'll try to make them better and better and better. You gotta start somewhere. I know this one is perhaps not the best, but you know, I'll keep making content and I'll keep improving. Just subscribe because you'll do it at some point. I can tell you that. Uh, to end up with uh, a small rhyme for this one. All right, bro. This was another cocktail video. Giovanni! No! It's Friday. What can I say? Cheers! And I hope you had some fun, cause now I'm officially done. One last thing. Get your fist on. Boom! Shots fired. Boom, 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 boom. Done. Have a good one. Stay tuned for more great content. I'll see you soon, hopefully. <laughs> oh, run out, Rasmus Stangard. <laughs> see you. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Well, I'll, I'll take this one. Cheers. Yeah.